Hi guys, welcome back to JNS. Okay, today some, something a little bit different. Um, as you know, we're stockists of Rucker, we try and keep as much Rucker stuff as we can. Uh, the Gore-Tex Pro Laminate stuff especially. Um, so we have the Calyx, we have the uh, Navala, we have the Armour T, we have the Navigator, we have a good range. But as I say, today something a little bit different. Rather than just getting the product and talking to you about the liners and blah 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 blah, we're going to give you what you want to see. And that's a member of our staff, jet washed <laughs> to show you how good this Gore-Tex stuff is okay it's all very well getting caught in a shower but we want to be down the motorway going at you know what speed legal of course uh, the rain's hitting you hard well we're gonna yeah as I say we're gonna we're gonna uh, sort of um, recreate that with the jet washer so we're gonna pick an unfortunate member of staff well I'll say unfortunate he ain't gonna get wet that's for sure but we're gonna prove it to you we're gonna do that now Okay, right, George has <laughs> thrown the, the short straw. He's going to get blasted in a minute by an industrial jet wash. We might be going a little bit too far with the industrial jet wash, to be fair. But listen, you know, we've got to uh, recreate any scene that we might come across. We're going to quickly talk to you about uh, obvious points, really. We're going to start with the, the glove. With this particular jacket, now this is the Rucker Navigator jacket. We've got the outer cuff and we've got an inner cuff, okay? The glove, he normally does dress himself, George, but you know, for the purposes of this, we're dressing him. The glove goes over the neoprene bit, okay? So fold the outer cuff back, put the glove over the neoprene bit and fasten it snugly. Then bring the outer over the top of that. That's how that is supposed to be worn, okay? The water's gonna run off and away. Even when you're riding the bike, because of the way the Gore-Tex is inside and the U, you still you shouldn't get wet. With the boots, obviously the trousers got to go over the top of the boot. Again, the water's got to run off and away. Okay. Now with the neck on this particular one, we have got a storm collar. You fasten that, and you fasten that. Believe me, today George is going to need that because we're going to let rip on him any second now. <laughs> Thanks, AD. Okay, we're going to put a helmet on George as well because if I take one of his eye out, eyes out with that Jesh watch, <laughs> Sammy's going to kill me. All right, so we're just going to pop a helmet on. So you might want to fast forward it a little bit while we're doing this. Locked and loaded. Right. Here's the jet wash. Where are the main areas we get wet? I'll tell you where. Listen, if you put, we should have put a cricket box on. No, mine's too late now. Sorry, George. We get wet around the crotch. Whoops, <laughs> Daisy. <laughs> This particular one is a Gore-Tex Pro. It's laminated, okay? So as you can see, the water beads off it. It's a great invention. It works really well. So we're hitting there in all the areas where you're gonna get hit. We've got a bit close. I'd say this is gonna be a little bit more intense than the rain. Uh, it's a pressure washer at the end of the day. Okay, so it's hitting him hard. Um, we're gonna give him another blast and then we're going to uh, take it off. Sorry about getting you in the face. It was an accident, by the way. Uh, and then we'll, we'll take the kit off and we'll see if you dry, yeah? All right. You can actually see the water feeding off. Another area we get wet is the main zip. The main zip's always a problem with jackets. The crotch is always a problem where sometimes it goes up and under, but we'll see.
Another area we sent it, if we're going to see a jacket fail, sometimes it's in the crease. Um, so again, spent a bit of time on the creases. Gore-Tex are probably going to be cringing about this. They certainly don't use a pressure mm. washer. I've seen the videos. But okay, quick blast, another one, and then we'll strip him down to see what's going on. Okay, I think our work here is done. Okay, so he's had his batter in with the, uh, with the jet wash. Um, we're not gonna pull any stunts or any tricks. We're just literally just gonna undo him now and see, see if he's wet or if he's dry, yeah? So. Bone dry. That's gotta be a result right there. God knows what PSI coming through a industrial sized jet wash that we need a shed that big just to conceal it. And George is bone dry. I'm not gonna go downstairs for obvious reasons. How do you feel down there? Oh, nice and dry, mate. Thank you very much. Happy days. If that isn't a good enough test for some of the Gore-Tex products that we stock, I don't know what is. So there you go, Gore-Tex test. Please remember to like and subscribe our YouTube channel.